Hi everybody, Sean James here. Welcome back to the cabin and the sauna behind me. Uh, unfortunately, this is a good day to talk about insects again, <laughs> biting insects. It is June 8th or 9th and I am dealing with an outbreak today, a hatch of mosquitoes and black flies at the same time. Intense. This is probably the worst, well it's definitely the worst this year so far. Uh, June is the bad month because it's the overlap between the black flies. It's the beginning of the season for black flies and mosquitoes. In particular, the worst of the pests around here. Everybody asks me about bears and wolves and all the other predators that we have in the area, whether I'm afraid of them or how much trouble they cause. And to be honest, zero. They don't affect me at all. Uh, Rare and more of a pleasure to actually see them. But the bugs, that's the pest. That's the thing to be afraid of. <laughs> Deathly afraid. The uh, black flies are swarming around my head right now, but then you'll see some mosquitoes come in, depending on the wind, how intense it is, and whether I'm standing in the sun or not. So the mosquitoes hatch at this time of year in standing water, so stagnant water like the beaver pond and the creek down below that's starting to slow down, get stagnant, puddles, all that kind of stuff. Uh, the black flies bleed, breed in, I uh, wish they bled, breed in uh, the running water. So in streams, they actually attach, the larvae attach to the to rocks in, and they feed on the water or on the things that like algae and stuff that come past them in the faster water. So they actually need that running water to breed. Now fortunately, I think most of the species around here only breed once. Maybe some of them breed many times um, throughout the cycle and then they die off. So they only last about a month and really they're only intense for a, a, probably two weeks I would say. Sorry, I'm <laughs> trying to keep still here but it's hard when they're like this, when they're swarming. Um, so they're, they're extremely abundant when they are uh, abundant like they are right now but then they die off really quickly. Now I can see a, some species of mosquito and unfortunately there's tons of species of them. It looks like a, mostly a small one that's breeding right now and uh, they're mostly active in the forest in the cool dark areas. I'm in the shade so they are active right here. They're less active in the sun however even at the front of the cabin which is I don't remember that happening at all last year where they're bad right there even with this strong breeze so they are they are affecting me today I have to be honest. Uh, black flies um, problem with them is a couple of things first of all they land and then they crawl around until they find somewhere to bite. So they tend to get into clothing like this that's loose. They can land anywhere, crawl in, and then bite. Uh, mosquitoes typically uh, bite a little bit quicker, so they try to land on you and find a place to bite through right away. So clothing like this typically is fairly effective, looser clothing. Um, you'll notice in the last video that I put on my self Lions channel, the longhouse where I had all the guys there with me working on it. If you look at Doug, and if you look at Doug's dog, which is a black um, dog, it's a border collie. Um, look at those dogs compared, and Doug compared to me, and what I'm wearing, and Callie being, and uh, Bach being lighter colored dogs. So you'll see the black, anybody wearing dark blue or black is getting swarmed by the bugs on their clothing, and people wearing lighter clothing like this are not. So that's why you'll always see me wearing long sleeve in the spring and there's black flies yeah they're landing this clothing this shirt in particular and this hat even though it's misshapen looks a little funny these are the uh, clothing items that i soaked in permethrin earlier before my canoe trip earlier this spring um, so when the bugs land on it they actually are supposed to die if they get some of the the permethrin on them so i do find it effective as a of, as a bug repellent but i also like i said find that light clothing attracts them much less so I am talking about bugs again because I think it's valuable if you want to spend time in the outdoors to learn as much as you can about how to deal with them. I've got a couple of different uh, repellents that I use. I actually got three or four different repellents and they have varying effectiveness. This one's got, uh, what is it, a keratin or something? The label fell off so I can't say exactly what this. This is the Deep Woods Off though. Woods... Um, or woods, but it's the uh, keratin or whatever it's called instead of the DEET. So I will, I will put that on all my exposed skin areas. Uh, it's not as effective as DEET, I find. I find that uh, 
especially like close to 100% deed is extremely pr pretty well 100% effective. It's just that Callie's trying to get away from the bugs underneath that you have to continue to apply it. Oh, I'm going to have to move this. I don't even know if we're going to be able to film much of what I'm doing today because the bugs are just too bad and maybe we'll work inside on the cabin to get uh, Callie inside as well. She's hot out here and being driven crazy by these insects so if we work inside that it's cooler and away from the bugs. Anyway again I just want to continue to talk to you about all the hazards and all the ways to deal with living in the outdoors or even playing in the outdoors because things like this can affect your time and it actually can make you sick. There's lots of diseases carried by these insects and people react to them to varying degrees um, like uh, yeah. I have to put bug spray on Cali too. Yeah, people do have allergic reactions to the to the bug bites. Uh, I know my wife's included, and Joe is another guy who just reacts so badly that sometimes can be hospitalized. So it's important to get um, to find effective ways to deal with them. Uh, bottom line is the insect repellents do work, but the number one is number one method to prevent bites is to to protect yourself with clothing adequately so again light clothing a hat shirt soaked in permethrin i'm wearing full clothing head to toe including half gloves um not don't have if they're really bad the black flies and you're just sitting still especially best to even cinch your pant cuffs clothes and here and wear something tight up here so nothing can crawl in and get in um, but number one thing i would say is probably the the uh, bug jacket or a head net. Uh, I think one thing that's interesting, as far as mosquitoes are concerned, is that because they have a proboscis, a long needle-like uh, nose that they pierce your skin with, they have a hard time getting through three layers essentially. So your skin being one of the layers, if you have clothing that's fairly tight and it's tight against your skin they, and they find and they will find a way to get their proboscis in through the fibers of the fabric they can then get into your skin if you double up though on the clothing so in this case I have the screen and then I have some screen means black flies can't get through but the mosquitoes could still puncture that uh, but with clothing underneath even if it's tight against my skin they have to find a hole in this fabric then find a hole in the fabric underneath that and then into the skin so it's too much moving around they're not that strong and if you move at all it uh, br well probably bends the their their nose so that they can't actually bite you so that's mine probably the number one way i protect myself against mosquitoes just to wear two layers of things problem with that is of course june being the worst month for both of these biting insects it's hot and uh, black flies in particular are extra active on hot humid days and this is probably the first real hot humid uh, few days in a, in a row uh, right now it's like 25 degrees going to go up to 28 or 29 degrees celsius over the next couple of days so they are going to be bad so i find it hard to stay cool so i, I usually like to get out on a lake at this time of year just to get away from the bugs or get into the shade where the bugs are worse unfortunately or get into the wind and it is nice and windy so I probably will spend most of the time working on this door for the sauna in the windy area in front of the cabin there so very very challenging times um, I hesitate always to talk about the bugs too much because it is a big discouragement for people to get outside and enjoy the outdoors and it is inconvenient uh, the thing is it's typically very the season's relatively short, but the days that they're actually bad are hard to predict sometimes. So I've seen people, many people, cancel trips or just don't do any trips into the wilderness around here during a peak bug season. But I would say probably half the days are better, and even half of each day or better, there's very few bugs or, or no bugs, depending on the weather, the wind, the cold, the, humidity levels, all those things affect them. So it's often really pleasant times within the uh, peak bug season. It's, so by not being out here, you miss those opportunities to enjoy those days.
So that's about the best advice I can offer to, or, or the best uh, condolences I can offer to, to uh, get out and enjoy it despite the thing that there is going to be some good days as well. Now, this won't last long by July, August, September. We end up with beautiful weather and no bugs or hardly any bugs. So I am looking forward to those days, I have to admit. That wind is pretty good though. It's going to help today. Hopefully it keeps getting windier. So this bug jacket that I'm wearing here is a cheap one. Uh, unfortunately, there's a little, well, I'll easily replace that. It's a little elastic band that holds the cuff tight, which is just stretched. I don't know how many years I've had this, probably 10. It's pretty durable, and I think it costs something like 15 or $20. Like It's really cheap. Uh, is it Woods brand or something? Or uh, Coleman? I don't know. It's it's cheap from in, in Canada and here in Ontario. I got it from Canadian Tire, so... Not sure where it's available in the US or anywhere else, but just look around. You don't have to spend a fortune on them. Better off to buy cheap ones, in my opinion, and replace them as they get holes in them. Uh, just because regardless of the, how much you spend on them or their quality, they're likely to break down anyway. Just because you're in the outdoors working and it's a mesh that ca tends to catch on stuff, like branches and stuff. So very hard to, uh, to prevent that. Anyway, I think I'm gonna get back to work work here, move my workstation into the wind and get uh, get this uh, door put on the sauna today so that I can close that building up too and, and keep the bugs at bay. So thanks for watching this video everybody, I appreciate it and I'll see you up here at the cabin next time. Take care.